So I don't know what else to do from here other than um, start cutting sprites out. Now, um, one thing that really sucks is um, whenever you import the sprites into Anime Studio, one of the things you really got to worry about is alignment. Um, here's two programs that are really uh, important to have for this. It's going to make your um, speed go a lot faster. Alfred Sprite Sheet Unpacker and Image resize or any pick image or size or both of those can be found online for free if you just google them and uh okay so i open alfred sprite sheet unpacker and um and all you got to do is drag drag the sprites in and i'm just i'm just showing you something right now uh, i drag the sprites in it does its thing now let's say i'm going to grab two walking sprites this one and this one export those And then once they export those, I'm going to put those in my Captain America folder. And uh, rename them both Walking. It renames both at the same time. Then I'm going to import them into Anime Studio. Now, if you notice, these sprites, once I put them in a switch layer, they don't line up as well as you'd like them to. Do you see how uh, at the bottom of the feet should be exactly level here, but the feet move up a, a little bit. Do you see that? So I, I, if I were to align the feet at the very bottom, when I go to the next sprite, it moves up. And it's not very, it's not perfect alignment, and it makes it really obvious once you've added a bunch of sprites. It just does not flow well. So Alfred Sprite Sheet Unpacker does not work very well when you're doing sprites that are supposed to flow that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just completely delete that switch, delete these two, and the best way to do that is for sprites from here that are supposed to flow from one to the other, um, like walking or punching. Sadly, you have to do those all yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the background, make sure that uh, transparency is enabled in the background, delete the background, and I'm going to uh, start cutting these sprites out. And uh, you want to make sure that they're all exactly the same size so that when you move them over, like so, it's all lined up. So what I typically do is I'll go from the far left and all you got to do is copy and paste a new uh, paste as a new image. Copy, paste as a new image. And now if you can see right here this sprite is too big for my selection which means that I'm going to have to redo the ones I just did because they won't be aligned like I kept saying. So now I gotta close my work and go do that over again. It's really important to make sure that they're all exactly the same size. And I can tell already that I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna have to align these anyways. I, I can tell just based off the legs. Some some uh, some of times it's a lot easier than this. This this is not a good walking thing. I'm just gonna do that one with a. Uh, I'm gonna have to align those anyways in Anime Studio, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. Um, with these punching though, right here, there is something to there. It, there's a a base that to go off of his back leg right there. His back leg can be used as a base for every sprite, sprite grab. So I'll find the widest one right now, which is this one. And I'll just go off of his uh, his back leg. And that's what I'm going to uh, go off of when I grab every sprite. Now this sprite over here, it's a little higher. So you want to make sure that it goes high enough to grab that one. And um, there we go. Copy, paste. 
And then on this one, I'll align to his back leg again. Copy, paste. Ah. This is a real killer. The problem now is that my selection there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, increase the canvas size again and make sure I have the layers. That way I can do what I was just trying to do. All right, so it's lined on his bottom, his back foot. It's tall enough. And now I'm trying it again, making sure I align it every time on his back foot. It's okay if you grab something. What's most important from another sprite, what's most important is that you just... And here... I mean, this kind of sucks, but it really is important for what I'm trying to show you. You can see that this hand goes out of the way. So what I need to do now is start over again. This time it's not a big deal. And I know this takes a long time and it's really annoying, but it's a lot better than having to align it every time in Anime Studio. So I'm going to open this. It goes one, I'm going to count how far it is from the end of his boot to his, his glove. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So from the end of his boot to his glove, I have to count from six. So what I'll do now is align this to his boot and then move it with the arrow keys. One, two, there it goes, two, three, four, five, six. Copy, paste. One, two, three, four, five, six. What's most important is that he's in the exact same position on every single every single time you grab one. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know this is annoying, but you will thank me later. One, two, three, four, five, six. Copy, paste. And then the last one. One, two, three. One, mm. one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Now those are all his punchings. I thought it was. It looks like I got this one too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Copy, paste. And then the last one. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's doing this weird thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Now, the fastest way to save these is uh, just is with GIMP is to hit close and then hit save. Um, you want to make sure you save to the right place. I'm. I'm not able to see where I want to go, so I'm just going to save them to the desktop and move them over. PNGs work the best with um, Anime Studio, so I'm going to save them all as PNGs, and I'm just going to call them um, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I'll rename them later. That way I don't have to type. Um, that way I don't have to type it every time. And I'm making an error again. Uh, you want to make sure you delete this sprite from the other side before you save. So I'm going to have to open those other ones up again. these just delete the foot I'm opening up the ones that I uh, saved earlier delete that foot 
save. There we go. Now that that's out of the way, uh, did I accidentally close? Oh, no, there he is. Now I'm going to see if there's any others that need to be aligned like that.